We are already looking ahead to the Academy Awards next weekend, and so are our next two guests. But while many of us are going to be watching from our homes, Canadian filmmakers Wendy Tilby and Amanda Forbes will be watching from the heart of the action. You are looking at the Oscar-nominated animated short film, The Flying Sailor. It is based on a true story, Halifax Explosion. Both Wendy Tilby and Amanda Forbes are joining us from Calgary this morning. Congratulations and hello, welcome. Thanks, thanks, Emery. Hello. Good morning. Thank you. I'm looking just beyond you there and I see you've got an inspiration wall behind you. What is that about? <laughs> Well, we're, we're collectors of images. We have, you can't even see the walls in front of us, but we collect images all the time and, uh, and they somehow filter into our films or they inspire us anyways. We keep I, them there for inspiration in our low moments. Uh, yeah, I love that it's filled there with things that you've collected that make you feel great. It, listen, you recently returned from an Oscars nominee lunch and judging by your Instagram, you had a great time chatting up celebrities. Um, Austin Butler was there. Please tell me that photo's on your inspiration wall. Uh, Malala was there. <laughs> Tom Cruise was there. I th I'm not sure. I think we have some pictures of this. That's the inspiration wall. Amanda, tell us about meeting Tom Cruise. Well, that was amazing. Uh, we got to the lunch and uh, people were mingling around and then suddenly there was this kind of vortex of action and <laughs> right in the middle of it was Tom Cruise. And he was amazing because he kept that up for about two hours. Wow. Uh, chatting with everybody, intently chatting with everybody that crossed his path. No, we like to think it was just us, though. Yeah, we would <laughs> like to think that, but but I gotta say, he's a very attentive listener. I know we did tell were... him the plot of the Flying Sailor. Oh, I noticed you were whispering something to Tom Cruise there, Jamie Lee Curtis there as well. What were you saying to Tom? I told him there was full frontal male nudity in our film. <laughs> I've seen he says, I'm I've aware. seen it. I've seen it all. He said. <laughs> It inspired some funny emails back and forth in our team, by the way. Uh, Wendy, <laughs> we know this is based on a historical event. That's the inspiration from it. But I, I understand that you were at a museum in Halifax. I've been to that museum. I can see why it would be inspiring. What stood out to you? Well, the whole thing was fa fantastic. And uh, we certainly learned a lot about the explosion, which a lot of Canadians don't know the extent of it or just how catastrophic it was. But it was just this one blurb about a sailor who was on the pier when the ships collided. And um, he was right there when the one blew up. And he found himself two kilometers away, stark naked, uh, except for one boot, and relatively unharmed. And uh, that idea stuck with us for many years, because uh, this was 20 years ago. And we decided it made uh, for a very good animated film. We were interested in his trip. Yeah, flying through the air. You know, there's so many elements of that story. I grew up out west, you guys are in Calgary, and I hadn't really known about it until I went out to Halifax. Yeah. It is a remarkable, remarkable event. Um, let's talk about you guys as a team. This is your third time nominated together as a filmmaking team. Amanda, technically this is your fourth time, because you also had- Actually, it's Wendy, it's your fourth time. Wendy's fourth time for the solo yeah. project. So what I can imagine, what it feels like to get an Oscar nomination. What's your reactions when you find out? Well, you wig out, to put it simply. I, <laughs> I, you know, you spend a lot of time trying to manage your expectations. We knew we were on the short list. And so then you think, well, you know, that's great to be on the short list and let's not get ourselves overexcited. And then when it actually happens, uh, it's it's fabulous. And, and it brings a lot of attention to the film that uh, is otherwise hard to get. So we're we're very, very grateful for that. We should let everybody know, you can watch The Flying Sailor for free on the National Film Board of Canada's website. It is worth checking out, definitely. Congratulations to you both again. Uh, thanks for letting us in on The Dish with Tom Cruise. We'll be right back in the morning. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.